more discussion needs to be done on how to fix a hook. So first thing, quite simply, what causes a hook is at impact, when you're making contact with the ball, the club face is closed to your swing path. It doesn't matter where the swing path is. You can be swinging this way, you can be swinging that way, you can be swinging right at the target. The ball will hook if the face is closed to the path. So obviously a big snap hook is when the face is very close to the path. Now I'm not taking into account, I'm sure you've heard, maybe you've heard gear effect where a ball in the toe will have a tendency to hook more. That's correct. But we're just talking about purely a center face contact shot, one that feels really, really good and you get a big hook. The reason why this is an important topic is almost universally the fixes for a hook are going to make matters worse. Okay? So most of the time, now I'm not talking about the very, very high handicapper who goes like this, goes like that, really shuts the face and starts 150 yards left and it hooks really, really bad. I'm talking more the, the intermediate to low handicap to even, you know, plus handicap golfers that hit balls that start kind of close to on target and then a big snapperoo, okay? Nearly universal that either the path is too far to the right, but more importantly, the club face is too open to the path and or the target when you're coming into impact. And what happens when you hit a hook, when most good players hit a hook, is the brain recognizes around here that this club face is like this or you're swinging too far that way. You'll see a lot of good players will come into the ball like this. And the brain is going to react to this by slowing or stalling down the body and going like this to keep the ball from going way right. All right. It's really, really important you understand that most good players, when they hit a hook, it's from the club face working too much in the out, too open, or a combination of both. And when I say too open, it can be too open to the path, it can be too open to the swing arc, or it can be too open to the target. Okay? Those are three different things, but the result's going to be the same. Your body wants to hit, your brain wants to hit the ball at the target, and it's going to go like this to get it on target the club face is pointed too far that way for whatever reason, the reasons that I've mentioned. So we look at some of the fixes. Oh, I'm hitting a hook. I'm going to weaken my grip. Well, if the club is too open here and you weaken your grip, it's going to be even more open. Oh, I'm going to swing more to the right. Well, if you're hitting a hook, you're undoubtedly almost swinging too far to the right already. And if you swing further right, your brain's going to hook it even more. So um, I'm going to hold off the release. Well, if your club face is wide open and you keep holding off the release, it's going to stay open longer and you're going to quick hook it even worse or block it way right. Now you got a two-way miss. So it's like, you know, everybody's head is spinning listening to me go all through this stuff right now. This is what you've got to figure out. You've got to fix one of two things. And Many people will need, some people will need a launch monitor to do this that measures where your face and path is. Some people are going to need, you know, a well-respected instructor that understands these concepts. Or some of you can fix it on your own. But what you have to get done is, is you have to get the face to match the path and you have to get the path more toward the target. Okay? So if you get on a launch monitor and your swing path is 10, 12, 15, even 18 degrees to the right, you're going to be susceptible to hooks. Okay? And if you get a, a face to path on that launch monitor, very, very closed, it, it likely means you're coming in too open and doing this late. So I can't sit here and say, well, Monty, or folks, this is the way you fix that problem because Everybody has a different problem, but I can suggest some guidelines that you can use in order to figure out what's going wrong with you. So if you look at yourself on video and you look like this, look at how wide open that club face is and look at how far to the right I'm swinging. 
That's very, very prevalent with people who are trying to swing the right field, drop it in the slot, you know, all of those things. And they, you have a tendency to look like this. Okay, my hips pitched out toward the ball. I'm coming too far from the inside, club wide open. This is all I'm gonna have left. You folks are gonna have to feel a little more rotation around your spine and less dropping it underneath to swing out to the right, okay? Another group have really, really good golf swings, but they get right to this position in perfect position and they're like this. Well, as you can see, if I continue to rotate, that ball's going over there. So the body reacts to this by going like that. And here is where I'm gonna kind of wrap this up. The fixes for a hook are almost entirely counterintuitive. So I mentioned the first one about shoulder rotation. You're hitting a big hook over there. You need to feel like you're swinging more left if you're going like this. And the people, when you look at your swing and your club face looks like that, even though you're hitting a hook, you likely have to strengthen your grip, not weaken it to get rid of that hook. Because if you're going like this with a weak grip, and all of a sudden you strengthen your grip and you start getting to there, your body will allow you to keep rotating instead of getting to here and stall flipping. So the point of this video is really simple. The fix for the hook is almost always gonna be the exact opposite of what logic will dictate. So really, really be careful. You need to understand why you're fixing the hook and be careful with the logical fixes like swinging more to the right, weakening the grip, and holding off the release.